Hey there, I wanted to make a quick breakdown of the changes that have been made to the EV shadow system in Blender 4.2 because if you're like me, you've been working with a specific shadow pipeline for the last five years and now Blender 4.2 has come along and blown all that out of the water. So I've got this scene up here. It's open in Blender 4.1 and 4.2 so we can compare them. It's lit by a single sunlight and it has a low shadow angle so that we can really see all the detail and what's making it work. Okay, the first thing let's look at is the shadow quality. So here's Blender 4.1, which uses a shadow map with adjustable resolution both in the render settings over here and in the light options itself, all these cascade settings. And it does a good job of feathering soft shadows. Let's see some feathered shadows here. And where the detail is too small for the shadow map to catch it, it's got contact shadows which catch and fill in all the holes. Now Blender 4.2 has thrown all of that out in favor of what I assume are more ray tracy shadows. Uh, the drawback to this method is it is grainy. So let's look at how you control the general shadow quality in these. So if we look up close, here's what we're getting. We're not getting contact shadows, we're getting a very low resolution shadow map. So in the global settings, there is a shadows tab down here. Ray steps, I don't think we even need to worry about. The, the main thing driving this is resolution. So the lower I go with that, obviously, the worse the resolution gets. But even at one, you notice you're not getting the kind of detail, the kind of quality you want. That's actually in the light itself. Uh, now, we've lost cascade shadow map, we've lost contact shadows. But what we do have is this resolution limit, and it's in global scale. So if we turn that way down, look at that. Suddenly we're getting everything that a contact shadow would catch in Blender 4.1 and previous versions. So that looks pretty good. Now what about if we increase the angle size? Okay, now we're getting soft shadow but grainy shadow. I mean the obvious thing to do is to increase the sample size, right? Like 64. Well you can't always just increase sample size. Sometimes you have a really complicated scene. So there's other things we can do. We can at least get it to look a little more like Blender 4.1 here. Or if I turn it up, what it's doing is just moving the angle around a bit for every sample and that's giving you a filtered blended shadow. So we can replicate that here if you hate this grain, which I do. And to do that, go back into the light settings and turn on jitter. And by default, it's over blurring. If you turn that all the way down, you get as close an approximation as you're going to get to Blender 4.1, where again, it's doing that kind of effect. And of course, the sample count will improve this, but you at least won't have the noise issue. All right, so that's shadow quality. So let's look at some other effects that you might want to achieve with shadows in EV. So if we look at Blender 4.1, the material shadow settings have changed a lot. Back in the day we had this shadow mode with various options for how you wanted shadows to render. That has been replaced with this set of options. So say I wanted to do something like this. I want the body to not render, but I do want the shadow to render. So if I turn down the alpha, that's easy enough, right? Because transparent shadows over here is off. If I turn it on, everything's gone. That behaves the way you'd expect with transparent shadows. Now, what if we want the body to appear but not cast shadows? Well, time was you could go into Blender 4.1 and say none, right, to shadow mode. That doesn't exist anymore. What you have to do is mix a clear transparent shader with the shader you know that appears in the camera. And the mixing map is a light path and it is the shadow ray, which Blender 4.1 I don't think ever recognized in EV. I think only cycles would recognize that. But look at that. Now we have this transparent BSDF visible only in the shadow ray. Now one thing I've noticed is that if you open a file that was made in Blender 4.1 or previous and you had some of those effects already, Blender 4.2 tries to create that effect by automatically creating these nodes. So it's doing the exact same thing I set up, disable shadow transparent BDSF, but it doesn't work because look what's going on. 
these nodes are going into the surface socket, but so is my original shader network. So it's not actually using that setup. So to fix this, what you have to do is open up the mix shader node, which is the one labeled disable shadow. And you'll see nothing's actually going into it. What you want to do is bring your original shader network into the first socket for that node. And then that is what should go out to the EV material output. So your shaders over here come in to the left, the light path factors in the transparent part. So that's just using the shadow ray. And now it'll render without casting shadows. All right, well, I hope that was helpful. So thank you and have a good day.